Good morning, everyone. I'm Herman from 6B. And I'm Hester from 6B. Hester, as, as six students, we're now spending our last school year here. In the blink of an eye, it has been six years already. It seems like yesterday we just came back to school after summer. Time really flies, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Speaking of summer, what do you do in your last summer holiday? Oh, I joined the school study to Sydney and spent two weeks there. I went to Sydney College of English with another 17 schoolmates. We attend English lesson in the morning and visit variety landmarks in the afternoon. It's really an amazing experience to explore the world. For the sake of getting better results, I did also join some tutorial classes. What about you? That sounds so much fun. Almost as fun as my summer holiday. I spent my summer in America participating in the 24th World Scout Jamboree held in West Virginia. You know, country road, okay. take me home, fine. What do you do in the West Virginia? There are countless thrilling and fulfilling activities in the Jamboree, including water obstacle course and firearm shooting. I was also honored to be appointed as a global ambassador of Hong Kong and had the privilege to participate in some exclusive programs. It is truly a once a lifetime experience. Such an eye-opening experience. Yes, but it is. Summer is over and YouTube one is also over. Right in front of us is DSE. How do you use your time wisely as there are so many things coming? Um, speaking of time management, I might not be someone who should share, you know, but based on my past experience, I do have some advice for everyone. The most important thing to do is to determine how your time is spent. There are a variety of ways to do this. First, try keeping a log or journal for several days. I'll make a chart or graph illustrating how your time is spent. Be sure to keep track of everything that is taking up your time. Sleep, work, eating, etc, etc. You must, be honest, you must be honest with yourself. This will show how best to manage your time, especially if you find yourself upset and spending so much time in one area of your life. Another way is to write down your goals. Now that you know where your time is going, how would you like it to be spent? Mainly, what do you, change, what do you want to change about your current routine? If you notice any waste time, stop by making a goal to address it. For example, if you find yourself spending several hours responding to pointless WhatsApp messages, taking extra breaks, or waiting for things, make it a go to rescue the waste time. Good point. Well, for me, I think it's important to manage your time effectively. You may ask how to make it, or what do you mean by effectively? First, we should start with the most important goal. After setting the goal, steal it on a big deadline and spend the energy towards completing the task. You should work on your biggest project at the time of the day when you have the most energy. For instance, I put the most difficult task in the morning so that I could use my energy fully and I can be more focused. Second, we better learn how to say no. Obviously, falling into something which is not important could probably waste your time. Therefore, you should learn how to say no without feeling guilty. Next, multitask smartly, but that depends if you can do several tasks at one time. That is very true. I'm not someone who can multitask. It just detracts me. My fellow schoolmate, to conclude, what we want to say this morning is that it is important to manage our time wisely, especially with DSC coming forward. I hope you find our advice useful. And last but not least, Essex Buddies, add oil.